In this video, I will show you how you can get the form responses on WhatsApp on Elementor form submissions. Okay, so here you can notice I have created this registration form using Elementor form and as soon as user submits this form, I will automatically receive a notification on my WhatsApp that a new lead is arrived along with all form responses. Okay, so you must be thinking that how did I manage to automate this process? So firstly, I have built a connection in my Elementor form and in the interact application which is an amazing application of sending the whatsapp messages and i have connected i have integrated these two application with the pabli connect which is an amazing integration and automation software and here you can notice i am an existing user so i am already logged in you can also create your free account in just a two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation now after reaching out to the dashboard the very first Thing you'll have to do is to click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have pasted the name as get form responses on whatsapp on elementor form submission okay now simply click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these are actually trigger and action and here trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this okay so basically you will always have have to select the applications in which you are building an automation okay let me tell you with an example let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application okay and according to our use case whenever the element of form submission is made okay basically in this particular application whenever the form submission is made then automatically get the notification on whatsapp via interact application all right so i have selected both the applications in this trigger and the action window okay now the idea here is i am going to connect these two applications one by one with the public connect okay so firstly i will select the trigger even that is new form response okay so i want that whenever any new form submission is made in elementor for this automation should trigger okay so how i am going to build the connection so here you can notice it has provided me a webbook url and few set of instructions so kindly read these instructions instructions carefully one by one and then copy this webhook url go back to your form and edit the form whose notifications whose form alerts you would like to receive on your whatsapp number okay so i am editing this registration form via elementor and here you can see this is my form firstly i am going to select this form from here okay so i have selected the same here you can notice the form is selected and let me first minimize this section because i am interested in this section that is actions after submit okay after the submit i want this webhook section which is selected already okay and in this webhooks i am going to paste the same webhook url which i have received via pabli connect okay so i have deleted the existing webhook url okay now i am going to paste the new webhook url which i have received from pabli connect and then i am going to click on this update and then i will preview this form in front of you and i will submit this form with some dummy details because here also you can notice that it is waiting for the webhook response which means it is asking us that log in to the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission and here the test submission means uh, creation of a new form submission okay so this is my form i can close this landing page for now okay so this is my form and i am going to provide some dummy details in front of you and as soon as the form submission is made the details will be received via public connect okay so let me first provide the details Alright, so I have filled some dummy details in this form. Here you can notice demo user is the name of the person. Demo at the rate publicTuge.com is the email address. Let me also correct the spelling here. It should be Tuge.com. Here I have provided a dummy phone number, the address, the occupation, the age and do you have any injuries? No, okay. So I have provided all the details. Now I am clicking on send button and as soon as the form submission is successful, you will notice that a response is received. 
received and here you can notice the response is received immediately why immediately because this trigger works instantly this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data okay let me show you the details one by one okay so here we have the form name as aerobics registration the form id and here we have the name of the person that is demo user here we have the email address also all right where is the email address let me show you all right so here we have the email address also here we have the profile the phone number and all other fields okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our elementor form and pably connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone is going to fill your elementor form the details will be first captured via pably connect and now i am going to send these form responses on my whatsapp number only and as i have told you initially for sending and receiving the whatsapp messages i am going to use this interact application which is an amazing application for sending the whatsapp messages because it has the access of official whatsapp cloud api okay and in the action even you'll have to select this send whatsapp template message okay and just like we have connected elementor form and pably connect now i will be connecting this interact and pably connect for which you'll have to click on this hyperlink and this is how from here exactly you can actually get your token all right so here you can notice under the developer settings i have this token which i have copied pasted here clicking on save and here you will notice my interact application will be connected with the pably connect okay now it is asking for the country code the phone number and the full phone number well why it is asking the phone number at two different places okay so let me show you the note it is clearly written that it is mandatory to give a value for either full phone number or for both phone number and country code so basically it completely depends on that what type of phone number you have if you have the phone number along with the country code in that case provide the number in this full phone number field but if you have phone number only do not have any country code in that case you'll have to provide the phone number here and then you can separately provide the country code here okay now it is asking for the template code okay before that i can also provide my phone number only okay so let me first add my phone number and make sure that you provide the phone number in this particular format only so currently i am providing just a random number but don't worry i will replace this number with my genuine whatsapp number before i click on that final button okay asking for the template code name okay so before we provide code name let me first take you to the interact application all right so this is our application that is interact when you will create your account and successfully logged in into your interact application the very first thing you'll have to do is to create a new whatsapp template why this template is required so whenever you are sending the messages using the whatsapp cloud api official whatsapp cloud api okay so basically interact has the access of official whatsapp cloud api you will always have to create a message template first get it approved via facebook and once this template is approved then only you can initiate the conversation with your customers okay so here you can notice in this dashboard i have created several templates i hope everything is visible to you and all of these templates i have already got the approval of these templates okay so the templates marked with green color you can notice are actually the approved one and the templates marked with the red color okay so here you can notice we have three status approved of pending and rejected so green color templates are actually the approved one the red color templates are actually the rejected one and the orange color templates are actually the pending one okay and for sending the lead alerts on whatsapp let me tell you what template i have already created and the interesting thing is i have already got the approval of this template okay so let me show you all right so here you can notice the name of the template is new lead alerts you can also so create your template from here what details you'll have to provide let me tell you firstly you'll have to provide the name of course then you will have to select the category in this case i have selected the category as utility then you'll have to select the english language and here the header is optional but in our case i have added this header as a text okay just in case if you want to attach any document any video or any image along
confirm with your header you can also do the same or you can select this none as well again it is completely up to you and from here exactly you can compose your whatsapp message okay so you just need to compose a single message only and the same message will get sent to all the customers only the values will be replaced automatically okay so whatever the values i want to keep on changing automatically i have specifically kept those values in the form of variable yes these numbers packed with the curly braces are called as variables okay so i want that the name of the candidate the email of the form submitter the phone number of the form submitter these basic details should be added here automatically okay so this is my message and currently i am into the view mode so that is why i am not able to see the edit options okay so you can add as many as variables as you want within your template you can also perform some kind of formatting uh, with your message but currently i am into the view mode so that is why those options are not visible but don't worry when you will create your template from scratch you will get all kind of options and here you can notice the footer and buttons are also optional so i have not included any okay so now i am going to copy the code of this template from this url yes from the url you can get the code which i am going to paste here asking for the language code well as i have told you i have included english as the language let me show you so that is why i will provide the code for english language and code for english is going to be en the code for english us is en okay so let me first provide the same after the language code it is asking for the header value so i can paste the same header value also okay so let me do the same and here comes the most interesting part that is body variable values okay so from this particular field only we are going to provide the values to the variables okay so currently i have kept in total five values five variables okay so by separating a comma i am going to provide the values to all these five variables and in place of first variable i want that my name or my team member name should appear okay so how about i write something like hello team okay now placing a comma and then further i will provide the value to the second variable okay so here i would like to replace the name of the form okay so remember we have captured the name of the form in this submission details in this response details okay and the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy the above details and paste it here i am going to map the above details and mapping is very simple inside pabli connect okay when you will click on this field you will find the above details. data here in the drop down simply select that specific field and this is how the details will be mapped now you must be thinking that what is this mapping all about okay so whatever the details i am going to map here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time i repeat whenever you will provide any details with the help of mapping these details will be replaced automatically in the next time in the real time okay providing the value to the second variable which was email address uh, sorry the fourth variable which was email address and lastly i will provide the dummy phone number okay currently i have included only three form responses details so that is why i am mapping the value for the same in case you would like to send the form details basically every single detail in that case you can add as many as variables as you want and send the details for the okay so i think i have provided all the important details since i have not included any dynamic url and the button so i will leave these two fields blank now firstly i am going to delete this existing message so that i can show you how the messages will get sent automatically in real time on my whatsapp number and here i will also replace this dummy number with my genuine whatsapp number all right so i have replaced my number clicking on this button save and send test request fingers crossed and i am really expecting that the positive response should be received and here you can notice the response is received let me refresh my whatsapp web and wait for the response to be received wait for the message to be arrived here and here you can notice the message is arrived let me open that and new lead is arrived hello team a new lead is just arrived via this aerobics registration form here are the details of the leads and here we have the same name the same email and the same phone number 
call email or follow up the lead and try to convert it at your best all the best things enjoy automation okay so this is how now onwards every time the user is going to fill this form you will automatically receive a whatsapp message on your whatsapp number along with all form details and in order to automate this process you need to create this automation inside public connect just once okay after that you can sit back and relax because public connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your public connect account okay so simply click on this link and sign up into the public connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your public connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video